Welcome to Nar Shaddaa, Hunter. Sleaziest place in the galaxy. Your target is the Eidolon, a professional assassin with a right scary reputation. Branded himself as the assassin who could kill absolutely anybody. For the right price, of course. Spent several years proving it, too. His background is a mystery, but he used to do a lot of work for the Hut Cartel. I'd suggest looking up Gelvin, a Twi'lek who works for the Cartel. Word is he hates the Eidolon more than just about anybody. Oh, and when you find your bounty hunter rival, give him my best before you blast him to pieces. Happy hunting. Narshida. I always knew I'd find my way back here. Just didn't picture it quite like this. What did you picture? I guess I thought I'd come back with Brayden and Jory. A few things you should know. The Hut Cartel pretty much runs this place, with the Exchange and various gangs trying to carve out their own peace. Krista mentioned Gellerin might help us track down the Eidolon. I remember that Twi'lek. Used to be a scummy slaver. Had a bad rep. A real ruthless creep. Let's hope he decides to be cooperative. You'll convince him. You have a way with people. A lot of things might have changed while I was away. Let me track him down. Should we head to the promenade and see what Gellerin has to say? I'm sick of excuses! I'll feed all your worthless slugs to a rancor if I have to! You hear what- hey, excuse me? Hey, nobody just walks in here, huh? Nobody! I'm a bounty hunter, hunting the Eidolon. Interested? The Eidolon? What? You're kidding me, right? No. C tell me you're kidding. You're, you're not kidding. Alright, I'll bite. Boys, hey, get out of here. Get us some refreshments. The Eidolon did some work for us, you know. He could kill anybody, anywhere. This guy was unbelievable. Killing folks ain't that hard. Anyone could kill a gank on the street. But the Eidolon specialized in impossible targets. But then, at the top of his game, the Eidolon announces he's getting out of the assassination business, opened a security company. Suddenly, half the corporations here were clients of Eidolon security, and were no longer paying the Hut Cartel. Hey, Gellerin, I haven't finished slicing those casino lugjack machines, but I thought that... Anuli? That's Mako! Everyone said she was dead! The Rodian brothers grabbed her! Someone saved me from those antenna heads, Anuli. A good friend. He took me away to Huda. You two know each other? Anuli and I grew up together on the streets. He's like my little brother. Can we get back to business? Yes? Look, nobody knows how to find the Eidolon, but if you hurt his company, he'll find you. I've seen it before. The Eidolon's biggest client is the Republic. Eidolon security supplies those ganks with billions of credits worth of munitions every year. A billion credits worth of munitions would blow up a whole lot of marks. Eidolon security's got a stockpile of munitions bound for the Republic Army. Crates are at their manufacturing facility in the Karelian sector. If that facility were to blow up, the Eidolon would owe the Republic billions of credits, which I'm guessing, hey, he ain't got just lying around. Can't use thermal detonators. Too small. Need beradium charges, like the ones Brel made before he blew up. Hang on, hang on. Wait, hey, you're hearing that out of context. Brel blew himself up because he got cocky. These beradium charges are perfectly safe. You got my word. Always wanted to go out with a bang. That's the spirit. Ha, I wish I had a dozen of you working for me. Uh, uh, you know, with me. The charges are magnetic. You gotta put them on the power generators for maximum yield. One in the control center, too. A facility that size will have several generators. It's pretty standard. They'll be easy to spot. The charges are on a synchronized timer. Now, after you planted the last one in the control room, set the timer, then get out of there. Stop. I've been watching you on the surveillance monitors. I know what you're doing. You've got to stop. Please! There are dozens of civilian technicians and engineers working here. If you blow up this facility, they'll all be killed. Maybe they should be getting out of here, then. Our security chief disabled the evacuation alarm. They don't want this attack made public. I only need a few minutes to round up my crew and get them out of here. Do what you will afterwards. Every merc in here wants my hide. These people are innocent employees. They have families. Show some compassion. I'm begging you. Compassion won't get my job done. You... animal. Did you feel it? Ha! <laughs> the Eidolon's property will rain down on the streets for days. I could already hear his holo conversation with the Republic. Were those our billions of credits going up in smoke? <laughs> Let's get back to business. 
Right, right. We still got a job to do. All right, idle on security ain't down for the count yet. I got some discretionary funds from the cartel to deal with these sorts of problems. I think you've earned more than a few. The hunters gotta know. Galloran should talk about it. Mako said it was important. She said so. Wait, what did you find, Anuli? Oh, for the love of frying and credits, we're discussing business here. Strange weapon orders. Armor plating, blaster cannons, defense shields. Shipped to an abandoned warehouse in the Dural sector? Makes no sense. Armor plating. Hang on, that sounds really familiar. Let me check something. Talk to me, Mako. I asked Anuli to help me watch for possible bounty hunter rivals and to look out for anything weird. And this is, even for Nar Shadda. Nobody ships expensive hardware to empty buildings. Or if they do, they hide it better. Here it is, the Zargnor clan. I knew those weapon parts sounded familiar. A clan of Ugnaughts got into the Great Hunt by building a bizarre war droid that they would ride inside of. The thing's blaster cannons blew up during the Grand Melee. Everyone was killed except the Ugnaughts inside the armored droid, making them the winners. Wish I'd seen that. Worth the price of admission, that's for sure. Hey, as possible rival bounty hunters go, these might not be too bad. Assuming they haven't finished their new war droid. But it'd probably be a good idea to get them before they finish. Time to go to work. The warehouse they ship the parts to is in a really sketchy part of town. It'll be tough to get to. Look, hey, I don't know what this is about, and I don't think I want to know. Take care of your personal business. When you get back, we'll chat more about the idol. <laughs> This isn't Gort's casino. Are you threatening me, little one? Bounty hunters? Really? It's the Great Hunt, not the Big Hunt. My feelings exactly. Too late, little pigs. So, uh, what? Everything taken care of? No more problems? Huh? Good. Good. My people are looking for signs the Eidolon is on the move. So far, it's quiet. I think he's watching. Maybe we didn't hurt Eidolon security enough. Yeah, that part's easy enough to fix. <laughs> See, if I get rid of the Eidolon, the cartel makes me a full-fledged boss with my own clan. And all we gotta do is take out one little assassin and his pet corporation. What a fragging deal, huh? Mako said the hunter will take me away from here. I help find the Eidolon, I get off Narshada. Mako said so. Mako said that, huh? I just said I'd talk to you. Anuli's helped us and he wants off this trash heap. I don't blame him. All I'd have to do is drop him off at the next spaceport. Please, I owe it to him. I hate it here. Everyone uses me, insults me. I'm just garbage. I hate being scared all the time. I'll do it for Mako. Thanks. This means a lot to me. I'll owe you one. Now that's settled, let's get back to the job of driving Eidolon security out of business. One of Eidolon security's slogans is, Your secrets are our secrets. So what if you were to make all those confidential records public? It has potential. Potential? What, you freaking kidding me? Just picture Every contract? Every shady deal, all the security specs of every single one of the Eidolon's clients at anyone's disposal. Hey, Anuli, what do I pay you for, huh? How do we put Eidolon security's records on the holonet? That's real hard. Eidolon's holonet transceivers are in the network access sector. Heavily guarded. You gotta slice into those to get to their records. But gotta get past these encryption programs first. You need these codes from him. Also a top-notch slicer to access Eidolon's network. Z's a Biff engineer, best holonet security expert money can buy. He won't just give you those codes. I can be very persuasive. I've seen that firsthand, friend. I'd give you whatever you wanted. Z's currently consulting for a Republic company called Nebula Communications. 
I'd suggest you blast your way into Nebula's corporate office in the industrial sector, grab some security slug, force him to tell you where Z's at. Who are you? Why are you doing this? We don't keep a lot of credits here. You're dead meat if you waste my time. Now give me the biff. The Holonet security guy? Is he in trouble? I've got a gun at your face and you want details? Right. What am I saying? Z's at the Imperial Spaceport. He's on his way to Mechas 3 for a business meeting. He's probably already gone. I gave you what you wanted. You're not gonna kill me, are you? Disappear. Now. Right. I'm out of here. Is Bosca Bolia? I want all of the data on Eidolon Security's encryption programs. Now. You're seconds away from a messy death. Only one way to find out. Jeez, Kakava Coyota. Do Banda Bakawanki. You know, he's catching Ganga with Chit Cospa. He didn't continue. Who could choose Kanoe Kuchusa? You mata Chipotata. This will be our only meeting. Hongi Scotcha Ponchi Nayoka. I'm back with Z's codes. Ha! Wish I could have seen the look on Z's face. Anuli, we good? Everything looks legit. Beautiful work. Z's code is like music. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let, uh, yeah. Isolate the ones we'll need and hand the pad back to our hunter friend. Eidolon Security's transceiver codes are marked. Easy to spot. They'll disable the encryption programs. No problem. And that helps how? They're gonna get you access to all of Eidolon Security's confidential files. Once we get those, the Eidolon's personal business will be everybody's business. <laughs> Eat that, you ganks! <laughs> okay, so on to phase two of our plan to scrag Eidolon Security's rep and drive their clients away. Anuli? Gotta access Eidolon Security's data transceivers. Input these codes. Then slice into Eidolon's network, download their files. Here's a holonet transmitter. Once you've accessed Eidolon's network, put this on the transceiver. It'll let Anuli upload the file straight to the holonet. Eidolon Security's entire database is on the holonet. That's bad. Real bad. For them. The transceivers are in the network access sector. Security's gonna be tight. And the Eidolon will have his best men protecting those transceivers. Feel free to kill as many as you want. Okay, that should take care of Z's encryption programs. Transmitter's in place. Let me slice into Eidolon's network. Wow, this is tough. I knew he wasn't kidding. The Eidolon's Holonet guys know their stuff. Don't worry, I'll tell your boyfriend how impressive you were. Who, Anuli? He is not my boyfriend. We just grew up together. He's more like my little brother. Come on, come on. I'm in. I'll contact Anuli. Really, are you getting this? It's quite a data stream, huh? Beautiful. All of these work. Symphony of math. Downloading the files onto the Holonet now. Stand by. Let's get out of here before more of the Eidolon's mercs show up. They're way too good with those blasters. Who put you up to this? Was it the cartel? Professionals don't divulge contacts. You understand. Doesn't matter. We'll get the intel one way or another. Eliminate the threat! Now! He found us! It's too late! He's here! He found us! Get out of there! Move it! No way to run! He'll find you! He always finds you! We're all dead! Get away! Get away from me! Bingo! No! Ah! <laughs> we have to get there! We have to save him! 
Time to take out the Eidolon. We're coming, Anuli. Anuli! Oh no. Oh no. I'm sorry, Mako. He just wanted a better life. He never hurt anybody. Come on. We'll avenge him. Yes. Yes, that's what we should do. That's what we have to do. What's our next step? Now the Eidolon dies. You took the words right out of my mouth. I don't want to get that. What was that? What were those things? I can't believe he's gone. I never should have left him. It's all my fault. Again. We can still avenge him. Yes. I want to make Eidolon pay. Look, the holo communicator on Galeran's desk is blinking. Maybe he's still alive, sending us a message. Oh, there you are. It's been a bit of a challenge tracking you down. I figured you for a rogue agent, but the question was, for whom? I should have known. Galeran's the only one stupid enough to do this. Figured you'd be taller, or a cyborg or something. I'm small enough to slip through a crack in a door. And large enough to loom over all of Narshadar. I must admit, I'm rather impressed that one person could be responsible for so much damage. If you wish to meet me, come to these coordinates. I'll be sitting right here, waiting for you. Of course, the second you step out of the door, you're dead. Shame, really, since our confrontation would have been most exhilarating. My trigger finger needs some exercise. Likewise. And after all, I'll admire your head on my wall every day. Well, Hunter, I'm sad to say this is goodbye. Well, here we go. Let's be careful with this crazy. Unbelievable. Here you stand. Alive. Who are you? And why are you doing this? It's a job. Nothing more. You should have picked another career. Nothing for it now, I suppose. It was a pleasure to meet you. Opponents like you are very rare and precious. I regret having to kill you. Wait, I've got a priority message from Solash. He's another cartel lieutenant. He's offering a huge bounty if you bring him the Eidolon, alive. The Huts want to do terrible things to you. Oh, come now. You'll never claim that bounty. But then... If we don't have our dreams, what do we have? Come, it's time to die. Well, what are you waiting for? You've done it. You've beaten me. Finish it now, and be remembered forever as the hunter who killed the Eidolon. I have other plans for you. Handing me over to the cartel is the act of a brutish thug. You're better than that. Listen to me. I'm appealing to your sense of honor as an equal. Don't hand me over to the cartel. Kill me now. I deserve that much. Just another job. You can't do this. I'm the Eidolon. I'll contact Solash and tell him to meet us at the spaceport. We can deliver the Eidolon and collect the bounty. I received your message. My name is Solash. Do you have the Eidolon? Do you have my money? Of course. The cartel always honors its bounties. I must ask, why have you succeeded where so many others have failed so miserably? Who exactly are you? I'd say it was pure talent. Well, I cannot argue with your results. I have your promised bounty, and well-deserved too. Please consider spending some of it in our wonderful casinos. Good day, Hunter. We're not like the Eidolon, right? We're different. What do you mean? I mean, assassins kill people for money. You kill people for money. How are you different from the Eidolon? I can choose to bring them in alive. I wonder if that's any better. Maybe it's worse. I guess we still have work to do. I hope the rest of our targets are nothing like this guy. Should we get out of here? I want to get as far away from Narshada as possible. You'll get no argument from me. Ugh, I told you this place was ugly and sleazy. The Eidolon's been taken care of. My intel confirms that. 
The Hut Cartel just yanked their live bounty on the Eidolon. I have word that you eliminated your rivals as well. Congratulations, Hunter. You've cleared the first round. Your next two targets are on Tatooine and Alderaan. Transmitting your target briefings to you now. Your handler will be pleased to hear they didn't go to waste. Before you move on to your next target, return to Droman Kos. We have something to discuss in private. Luck out. I wonder what that's all about. The Huntmaster's assistant should never communicate with any hunter during a great hunt. It's just not done. Nothing else has been predictable about this contest. I'll agree with that. Better not keep him waiting, I guess. Hunter, we don't have a lot of time, so I'll be brief. The sanctity of the Great Hunt has been compromised. It seems a slicer got a hold of the Great Hunt's target list, and intends to auction those names to the highest bidders. Exposure like that would destroy the Great Hunt. I need this dealt with quickly and discreetly. What does a job like this pay? A true bounty hunter. <laughs> I like it. Don't worry, you'll be well compensated for your time. I need you to find the slicer and learn how he got that list. Once the list is secure, eliminate every scrag stupid enough to show up to that auction. Compared to my other jobs, this'll be nothing. Good to hear. We can't afford any mistakes. Nemro the Hutt's paymaster, Judah, told us about the auction. She's on Hutta. She can tell you more. The fate of the Great Hunt rests in your hands. Remember that. Chris has said you'd be coming by. I was so relieved to hear the Mandalorians weren't sending a stranger. Before I tell you what I know about this auction, I need to ask for a favor. There are bound to be some really nasty people at this auction, so please keep my name out of this. I don't want to put my family in jeopardy. Dead men aren't much of a threat. That's a very good point. I discovered the auction through one of Nemro's business associates. We were settling an account, and he asked if Nemro would be participating. I pretended I knew what he was talking about. That's how I learned about the slicer and the list. I need to know exactly where the auction is taking place. The auction's taking place here in Jakuna. The slicer left these details for Nemro. I hope they help. It should have already started. Please let me know how it goes. I won't be able to sleep otherwise. You ain't listening. I don't want the whole list. I just want to know if my name's on it. An excellent point. What if we're only interested in certain names? I'm sure we could come to some arrangement. That's what this auction is all about. How about I just bleed you nice and slow, and then take the list from your cold, dead hand? And I'll turn around and take it from yours, freak. Blast this scum! Start talking. How'd you get this list? Some guy said he was a Mandalorian. He got me the codes to break in. Said I could sell the names and make a fortune. He just gave you the codes and said, get rich? I don't buy it. It wasn't a handout. There were conditions. I got the money. He got... Well, I, I don't know. He said targets assigned to Tarot Blood were off limits. Maybe he has money on this blood guy winning. Or Tarot Blood gave this slicer the list. We have to expect Taro to pull some stunts like this. That man has lived way longer than he has any right to. That'll help you find him, right? I've told you everything I know. Please, just let me go. I'll never talk about that list again. I swear! Who else knows the contents of this list? Nimrod's paymaster, Judah. H help me arrange the auction. She has another copy. I agreed to split the profits with her 50-50. In fact, with everyone here dead, Judah's the only one left who knows about the list. Please, let me go. Afraid I can't do that. You're back. Oh, I was getting worried. Was everything taken care of? You thought I wouldn't find out you had a copy of the list? It's not what you think, I swear! I'm the one who called the Mandalorians, remember? I didn't know about the Great Hunt list. All I knew was that Billiken had some valuable information and needed help finding buyers. He gave me a taste! He told me we'd split the profits! I didn't learn what the list was till later. Deals like that always have a price. I was naive. I just needed the money so bad I didn't care. Here, this is the only other copy of the list that I know of. And unless you left anyone alive in that auction, no one else knows about it. Just please keep my name out of this. I tried to make it right. Your secret's safe with me, but don't think I've gone soft. Thank you. 
You don't know what this means to me. Take care of yourself, Judah. Maybe we'll visit on better terms next time. You'll always be welcome here. Good luck in the Great Hunt. Glad to see you in one piece, Hunter. Is that auction dead and buried? Everyone involved in stealing the list is dead, along with everyone who came to bid. That's what I want to hear. Seems the Huntmaster was right about you. Talk to me. This was more than a grab and shoot. Did you find out how that slicer got the list? All signs point to blood. His targets were the only ones not on the list. If that's your only proof, it's fairly circumstantial. Best keep those accusations to yourself. Taro's pretty influential among my people. We've got the target list back. That'll have to do for now. Thanks for taking care of this, Hunter. It was good doing business with you. Your targets on Tatooine and Alderaan ain't gonna kill themselves. Go get them, pronto!